Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Focus Training. Today I am going to discuss about um, creating microservices using Spring Boot and Spring Load, guys. Please subscribe to my channel Tech Focus Training. Today I am going to show how to create um, microservices using Spring Boot along with Spring Cloud using Config Server. Not all the uh, concept of a Spring Cloud. Uh, today I am only dealing with the Config Server with the GitHub repository. How to configure a, uh, create a Config Server using GitHub repository and how to fetch data from the Config Server into our microservices using uh, properties along with different uh, Spring Boot properties and all. So we need to have uh, before we to start this application. What other things we required? Spring Boot three. I am dealing with Spring Boot 3 here, Java 19, Maven 3, our latest version, whatever available. Maven, GitHub repository, we need to have GitHub, we need to push our code into GitHub repository, and Spring Cloud with the config server, guys. These are the concepts I am going to deal in this microservice creation today. Uh, yeah, we will move on to the coding part how to create this uh, microservice and all. Yeah, in my earlier videos already I have discussed. Uh, how to create uh, microservices uh, using Spring Boot and uh, Spring Cloud, guys. So, if you already if you watch my earlier video, Spring Boot 3 or uh, microservices creations, you might have an idea about this uh, Spring Initializer. So, I have already, already shown this uh, Spring Initializer how to use this Spring Initializer to create a Spring Boot project into our uh, local, I to download as a zip file and we can use it our. Uh, Spring Boot project. So here I'm dealing with already told Java Java 19 latest version. So like here go with the uh, I'm using 300 Spring Boot 3 300 current version I'm using and this is metadata jar and Java 19 version I'm using. So uh, I already have idea because it's there. If you click on generate, it will generate the project. So if you want to add multiple, so now in this project I'm dealing with the developer tools. One is the developer tools along with the um, config server. Config client and config server guys. This is on config client. Also, I'm using client client declarations and all. So we, we can use the dev tools for auto loading, restarting, auto loading on the data or application. So Okay, we are dealing with config servers, so that's why you required a uh, config client. So, a client that connects to the Spring Cloud config server to fetch the application's configurations. So, this is required. We will work with a uh, Spring Cloud config server. Spring Wiki is for RESTful implementation part. Developer tools will auto reload of the server start. Uh, like when you already started the server, if you do any changes within the code, it automatically reloads the server. You don't want to restart the server. So, that's why we added this also. So these are the things and we click on generate, it will generate the project device. It's already generated, that's why I'm not clicking this generate. So we go to my workspace. I have here, I have created one service, limit service, if you observe here. So we, uh, after clicking on that, we am getting this kind of a structure. So I have created already this. I'm taking, making, I imported this one. So JDK 19, if you observe here, this is uh, JDK 19. And uh, if you go inside this pom.xml file, I'll show what are the things uh, I already selected here. Spring Boot Starter, we need to do Spring Boot Starter, here in main, uh, main <coughs> Spring Starter, Boot Starter one, along with uh, we need JDK Java version 19, we already selected there, and Spring Cloud version. So, this for config server implementation, we need this Spring Cloud. So, if you observe here, so activator is not required, just included this. Starter web here for REST implementation. Starter bootstrap and all required for config server implementation, guys. This bootstrap uh, <coughs> Spring Cloud starter bootstrap is required for config server implementation. So these are the basic uh, dependencies required while you working with a uh, config server. So I'm going to the dev tools I already shown. This is a reloadable uh, data within the server without uh, starting restarting the server. So these are the dependencies are available uh, in palm.xml, my palm.xml, my plugin, or it's a Maven project, so it is a Spring Boot Maven plugin we are using. We'll move on to the source code. So uh, this is the basic application it will be created. Okay, generating the project. If you observe, this is Spring Boot application. 
Unit service application. So we just created one service, uh, one application here. So within this, I have created one controller. So with, I have created one REST controller. So within this REST controller, I'm using one configuration class because we are dealing with the config server. So I need a one configuration class. I have one method. First of all, we need to get the data from the configuration. So retrieve limits of I have created some limits of configurations. So I create one endpoint limits endpoint given the REST method. So with this method, I have created one POSO class, limits configuration Java class. We go to this limits configuration. I created one maximum and minimum. So two variables with uh, getting this uh, getting data as a configuration, configuration server data. So these are the two variables I created. Properties, uh, you can say. And these things uh, I am loading from the, these properties I am loading from properties file like bootstrap properties we go to that source menu like application and properties or we can call it as bootstrap properties also so within the configuration properties i have created i am uh, pointing to limit service so what it will look it will think kind of based on this annotation at configuration properties so it will look for the limit service uh, property inside my properties file so i have limit service limit service is there within this i have minimum and maximum so these two are my properties guys so this is the application name just leave it we don't need that. this is the main concept so these are two properties i'm loading so now uh, i'm going to start the server so if i start the server so you can see remote app now server was started so here server started with the port 8080 go here and we can see our localhost 8080 these are rest endpoint already told so now without limit if i give no already server started with uh, 8080 if i click on 8080 i'm getting white label error because uh, there is no i'm not i didn't given any endpoint so if you go i have rest controller created here with an endpoint with limits so if i uh, do give this limit next endpoint so i can see maximum and minimum data with the maximum and minimum this data how this triple double line double line and double line is coming these are coming from the properties files already we have configured these two here minimum and maximum properties these two are getting to my Rest controller how do you get limit configuration i am providing some getting values from the properties file you can see here configuration dot i am doing my minimum and maximum so this is uh, where it will go where is my limit configuration file here it will load and it will this is a, a generating constructor along with this configuration i have configured with the properties so configuration properties now this is a basic guys how spring boot will deal with the rest controller and fetch the data from the properties file not from the server now i am loading only from the local properties file if i want to get the data from the config, config server from using git git repository how to deal so uh, for that purpose again we need to create one more spring initializer project spring boot project so sub java language java you can select and as it has maven or gradle so 300 and we can create a java 19 package in here so here we do what required we need already we have created config client earlier now we'll use we don't need all this we need dev tools required and we can use config server config client we have a config server you see here we have the config server spring cloud config so what this will do config server so central management for configuration via git svn this this one we required already earlier project we have created config client from that config client we are communicating to this config server so using git and we will push the data to the git from the git or the, con the data we are getting from the git to config server config server or config client will communicate to this config server to fetch that uh, uh, properties data guys so this uh, these things are required to create a config server project so i will click on generate and generate i already have this generated project here you observe spring cloud config server so this i have generated already so the same thing i am using here 
So JDK 19 along with the point production will you can see you have Zohi a spring boot starter it's a common one and I have you are using spring cloud config server so I already shown how to get this config server so these are the cloud dependencies we are using here uh, and dev tools already shown how to use yeah, selected dev tools also now I go to the config server this is the basic application but created along with we need to add enable config server this is this annotation is required so uh, working with this so we need Config server, we need to enable this config. We need to add an annotation to our Spring Boot application, enable config server. So, based on this only, it will communicate to that or in a config client will communicate to this config server. So, this is a config server we added, and within this, we have one source file. Same way, we have application properties where we have. So if you can see server.port, this is uh, this project is running with a server sort of different port. We need to run this project with a different port, double double eight, and we need to have git uh, git one. I already I didn't discuss these things. I'm going to show those things. So before uh, doing the going to this, we need to create one a property file. Uh, that file should be available in the git. Some uh, you need to take some location. Like you know, I have already selected in my location. Oh, is that's my is within my local folder i have taken i have created one folder git local repository local we need to create one git local config repository like this within this we need to create a one file so the limit service dot properties file within this file we need to add this i have to need to add this already we have added this kind of properties in our boost dot properties in earlier project same kind of properties we need to get from now now from the git repository so i have created limit service dot minimum and maximum within this file so now this will act as a so now this is a my git repository now we what we need to do here here you need to open the git bash so i have need to add <coughs> now we have so initially now we need to do git edit we need to do so the main now it is already initialized as a git. Uh, now we, this pro, uh, this repo, uh, this folder will act as a git repository. So it will uh, git init what it will do it will initialize our folder as a uh, git uh, accessible folder. So it's a git repository. Now what we need to do already we have a file. So we need to commit this file to into the git repository. So we need to do git add this file it will add to the git repository and we need to do a git commit so two files change in four deletions now we have to be ordered to do these two are already something changed uh, now I have created one uh, I have committed this code. The already is committed. That's why it's showing again uh, second time. So now it got uh, committed into Git repository. So I need to access this file. So what I need to whatever is there data in the, within this uh, file. We observe here. I have these two properties. I need to access these two properties from my code. So what I need to do? I need to configure that uh, pro property uh, particular path. So what I have to do here? Spring out the application and properties file server dot we need to provide that git path where i already created my local so i have told, shown you already this is my local path or uh, my uh, username along with the git local config so this is my location where is i am my <coughs> this location i am I provide over there git location of uh, file location along with uh, the start like when you're starting the server itself it will uh, compile this uh, location and if, uh, and data is available or not so this is security disablement it might be not required just i have added we have security it will be disabled and what we need to do now is already created now we need to start the server before starting the server we can need to go to go back to our earlier project so now these two are different project how to communicate these two like uh, now my it's in my project within my limit service project 
I instead of getting through this property data from this property for this data, I need to get from the git whatever I have created here. So from this location, this file I need to fetch the data. So what I how can I indicate that one? Uh, I am going to show. So for that purpose, we need to add this annotation. So this line into our it's from the limit service earlier whatever first project what we created microservice project within this project are the properties file open the properties file and copy this spring dot cloud dot config uri so http localhost 8 so what is this double this is the location of this cloud config server so because we have started this uh, application with the port of double eight double eight, so we can observe here I given double eight double eight with this. So I'm integrating this uh, my limit service with the cloud config server. So when I hit on that particular my URL, I need to get the data from this uh, this guy uh, <coughs> cloud config server. So now I'm going to start this server. And spring boot up. You can see here server started with the port double eight double eight. So now we go and observe the URL of the host. Get limits double eight double eight. We our case is double eight double eight. So this is the actual URL where we need to get uh, config server data. So localhost double eight double eight limit service is the my application name along with the default. For default, it will get the data. So now it, you can observe here. See, this is the location name, my name, user location, my local parent location, git local config repository. So this is git local config repository. From there, I have a file called limit services dot properties file. So from the, within that file, I have limit service minimum as a it maximum a double eight. If you can see here, within this file, I have minimum eight and maximum double eight, double, 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 double eight. So that we got it through here. So but this is within our we are currently still in this guy local host double eight double eight. So I want to get this uh, eight and uh, this minimum as eight maximum as double triple eight one to our limit service like 8 genes of double eight double eight i will run through 88 earlier we can see already now here we have triple double nine double nine double nine so it needs to replace with my uh, config server data let's see how we can my uh, limit service so i have 8080 eight so it was loading with double nine double nine double nine now it needs to load with eight and three eight so I'll click on this so it is loading with eight and this is loading from the config server not from the, my properties file guys so uh, uh, that's it guys uh, that's it for uh, today i just uh, shown how to con create a, a config server spring cloud using uh, <coughs> spring cloud and spring boot and by creating this microservice coming spring boot 3 microservice communicating the spring boot 3 uh, microservice with the uh, spring cloud config server my coming videos i'm going to show the api gateway and load balancer and remaining some other topics of spring cloud with the microservice spring boot 3 and all please uh, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos guys thanks for watching bye